How can shortening the timeline of your story help make it more entertaining and enjoyable for your audience? Well, the answer to that question is found in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. Yesterday, you were introduced to the concept of lying, not really lying, to your audience. In other words, playing with the facts to make it a better experience for them. You heard about the idea of omission, leaving some details out that aren't as important to pushing the story forward. This video is all about compression. How do you compress time so that your audience doesn't feel like they're getting bogged down in those details? And understand with this topic, it is okay to compress timelines and stories. Remember the words of Patricia Fripp, Hall of Fame speaker. The emotional truth of a story is really what an audience is looking for. One of my favorite examples of this isn't my own story, it's of my coach Craig Valentine. Craig talks about the point in his life when he was trying to decide whether or not to go out on his own to become a professional speaker. His boss was offering him a tremendous amount of money to stay at his job, but Craig's dream was to be a speaker. In the final version of his story, he talks about being offered a substantial amount of money to stay, going home and talking to his wife, and in one evening's time making the decision to go ahead and become a speaker. He goes into his boss's office the next day and lets him know he's leaving. The reality of that story is that it took place over about a week to a week and a half time. There were many conversations with his wife and other people. That would not make for an engaging and enticing story to the audience. What Craig did to make it more efficient and more enjoyable and entertaining for the audience is compress it into a 24-hour time frame. Technically, was he lying? I guess you could say so. The emotional truth of his story is all there. He had this big dream. He was conflicted. He was enticed to stay with the, where there was security financially. The guru, his wife, convinced him that he would regret it if he didn't pursue his dream. That's what he ended up doing, and he's had a successful life. As you create your next story, look for opportunities to compress time while protecting the emotional truth of the story. Do this, and you'll create a much better narrative, and audiences will love you for it. Talk to you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.